Hi, welcome back to Greek and Tasty with Alpiniki. Today I'll share with you a traditional dish called bakalaros plaki, which is with fish. Uh, it is a uh, well known as a traditional dish for the 25th of March, uh, which we celebrate uh, the Annunciation of Virgin Maria and at the same time it's the war, the Greek war for independence, which is 1821. Uh, so we do it for this day. Right. Um, so what, what we need is um, four fillets of cord. I can't find bacalao here, so I'm using cord. Um, around seven small tomatoes. It depends how much fish you're having so seven small tomatoes grated a, a whole chopped onion a, not chopped like sliced i would say like onion um, three cloves of garlic sliced again um, a bunch of uh, parsley a finely chopped around a small glass of olive oil it takes olive oil quite lot like a small glass of olive oil uh, here I used uh, six uh, potatoes then again as I said it depends how many people I mean this is for four people so around six uh, potatoes and cut like chips yes cut like thick chips, chips quite thick thick yeah and um, again as I said before like salt and pepper depends of how much you want how you prefer it I as I say I use usually one teaspoon of salt and a quarter of black pepper but the pepper and the salt uh, will go before I put in the oven and it just a small like a teaspoon of uh, tomato puree the more like, um, uh, like a paste. yeah like a paste yeah uh, so that's all I need and Basically, we can start. I can show you now how mm -hmm. to do our mix all together, right? So, I'll take this. I'll take a, a big bowl. You need a big bowl because I have to add all the ingredients in here and mix together. So, I'll start with the potatoes. Um, the potatoes. I'll continue with the fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. Onions and garlic. Parsley. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll add the oil at the end when I put it on the pan. And now, obviously, I'll leave the fish for the end. I just need to... It's very colourful there. It is. Oh, can you smell the parsley, yeah. Michael? Can you smell the onions, as opposed to... And the fresh tomato, I mean... This right. dish needs fresh tomato and lots of onions again, and garlic. By the way, last week, the chickpeas, I loved it. You loved it. If anybody was uh, wondering. But have you noticed that later on, like, I mean, uh, the day after it was even better, like, the taste. Yeah. You could, you could, it was, to me, it tastes like a mince, like a pork mince. It was, and it did was have it? a consistency of pork as well. Yeah. It's obviously not, but it, right. it was really nice. Mm -hmm. I loved it. So now I'm adding the fish here. Then I'm um, mixing again all together, all together. Here's the fish. <laughs> That's it. One more is it? It's here and here. And now I can take this away from. That's great. Here I can add the teaspoon of tomato paste yeah tomato paste and just again mix a bit all together 
That's great. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking the pun. I'm adding the fish, which is uh, it's so tender. That is nice. That's great. One more. Beat it here. And one more here. <laughs> one more here. Finding all the fish. <laughs> Yay! We have fish, right? Right, well, that's all I think for now. So give a bit more, one more minute maximum. Yes, and for the tomato pure also. Um, Michael, yeah. can you please uh, switch on the kettle for me? Please. Oh, see, I mean, I should do this with a camera in one hand. <laughs> Thank you. So now I'm um, I'll transfer the potatoes here. I don't need, I just need a little bit of water. I don't need much water, boiled water. I suppose I can put the fish on the top so you can see. Oh, the smells, all the, honestly, it's so nice. It's easy, isn't it? Is it? You just add this here. Obviously, I need to take the uh, the fish and put it on the top, transfer, basically. Mm -hmm. Pull the remains back in then. Oh, yeah, that's it. You just not one much. Right. What I do now, I'm just going to, as I said, transfer this to the top. Thank you. Mm -hmm. it smells so nice really I don't know if you love this I love fish once again not a fish lover but I can eat it you can eat it but if it's anything like I uh, ate me words last week with the chickpeas so you loved it I'll yeah. definitely be trying it mm -hmm. you try again you had for how many times <laughs> you had yeah. the day after also yeah it's lush with the salad with the salad, eh? salad yeah that's it yeah right can you see me Harley now all the herbs mixed together mm. marinate the onions right that's all now I remove my amazing gloves <laughs> It's here. Yeah. I'll add the olive oil, which as I said takes lots like hey, what's the reason for doing it in every corner? Just to go everywhere. I'm gonna mix it anyway, like uh, shake it. Mm -hmm. So make sure that it goes everywhere. Like that. At the end, as I said, I will um, put the, Press the yeah. I oh, just isn't a good idea. I'm just gonna just to take with my finger, just spread not too much because usually the fish mm -hmm. is a bit salted, but yeah. Spring it over. Well, especially it if over. it's actually bacalao. Mm-hmm which you can get in Portugal as well, because that is Portuguese yeah. dish as well. And add some, uh, add some pepper also now. I suppose with the cod, it's not salted like the bacalao. Yeah, it's not the same. Usually what we do with the bacalao, we put it uh, like for uh, at least two days before in the water. Ah. So it takes all the salt, you know, like out. And you change the water also at the same time every often, like every few hours. So. Yeah, before, because it's very, very salted, you can't really have it. So add the pepper, which I like pepper. If you don't like pepper, you don't have to, but I like pepper. It goes, compliments anyway there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think... Uh, That's it. Mm-hmm. 
right so what i need to do now i just need to to add a bit of uh, just a bit like water white water thank you michael just make sure carefully a bit more here it's not much you think i'm um, because i'm you know i think that i'd put lots but it's not you take it to a certain level then or just not scrolling really. the potatoes or just no 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 just just, just just that it's fine it's more than enough sorry mm -hmm. to get this, uh, cut out that's great so if we go to the side you can see yeah the level is about yeah. Just under a third, maybe of the. Um... It's definitely, it's not in the middle. It's yeah, yeah. It's like a, um, say a quarter. Yeah. It depends from the pan, yeah. But it looks That's nice. Lovely. You have all, yeah. You have all the ingredients, all the herbs, the smells. Oh my God, it's so nice. Okay. And all I need to do, because obviously, I'll put it in the oven in uh, on the air uh, for. Yeah, with a fan, yeah, the fan uh, at the 170 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, I preheat the oven at 200 degrees. So now I put it down like a 170. I'm covering, and the reason why I'm doing this because I want obviously the potatoes to cook. I don't want to burn the fish. So I'll cover for an hour the, the pan and then I remove the foil and I'll let it cook for 30 more minutes. So, you know, the potatoes takes a big color at the same time also the the cold the time also depends from the potatoes how long it takes to cook every as i said it's different sorry yes yeah. yeah but as i said it's good to put first foil cover it let it cook and then remove, take it in our time, remove the foil, and put it back again for 30 minutes and it should be ready. You always have to keep an eye. You have to keep yeah. an eye just in case you need to add, yeah? Okay, right. we're ready, good. see you. Uh, after an hour, I, I removed the foil and I put it back for 30 more minutes to cook. And this is the, the final, the finished, uh, the finished dish, yes. Um, we are ready to serve it on the plate. It smells very nice. It does indeed. Yes, and it is. It is cooked very well. I mean, I can see the potatoes. If you can see, I mean, you can put the fork. It's melt basically. It's so nice. Not many. There's no water here because I didn't add too much. You can see the fresh tomato. You can see the onions. Obviously the fish, nice color. So yes, I'm ready to serve it on the plate for use. Well, this is the finished dish. Uh, it looks and it smells great. And I'm sure it tastes, I can guarantee it tastes even better. Well, if you love fish, uh, give it a go. You won't regret it. Uh, so if you want to come closer, Michael, please, you can mm -hmm. see you know, all the the flavors, the onions, parsley, obviously fresh tomato, garlic. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, my video this time. Uh, as I said, and as I'm saying all the time, um, like, leave a comment, anything you wanna ask, share, and of course, subscribe. It's free. It's for free, definitely. And as I always said again, like share the love of the food. See you next Saturday with another recipe. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything yet. So it's meat. It's meat. <laughs> it, it, it should be. It should be. I can't say anything anyway. More than likely, yes. So enjoy your weekend. Enjoy. The week coming and see you all next Saturday. Lots of kisses. Bye.